Well, I got food poisoning the other day, food poisoning, and it kind of surprised me because, um, well, I didn't expect it. That's why it surprised me, right? That's why it's a surprise. But what I did was I, um, it was Friday night, went to the gym at 1 o'clock in the morning, and I decided to go to the 24-hour Walmart and pick up a ready-made sandwich. Now, sometimes they discount the sandwiches because they're made in the morning, but at the end of the evening, they'll discount them. And so I grabbed one of those, but you know what? It might have been older than just from that single day. In other words, you know, if the thing's two dollars and seventy-nine cents and it was four fifty originally, so I, it wouldn't matter because if you, you know, it's it's got a shelf life of at least twenty-four hours, right? So I grabbed it and I ate the sandwich. Um, and you know, that night I was like, oh my god, I was running into the bathroom. And by the morning, I threw up a whole bunch of times, and I was 100% fine before I went to the gym at 1 o'clock. I had good energy. I didn't feel sick at least. I felt alive and everything. And, um, you know, obviously, it was due to that food I picked up, you know, at Walmart. So, anyway. But uh, I did not think of doing this immediately. And this is one of the problems where I have a good body of knowledge on you know, what to take for various things. Um, I did not take the activated charcoal right away. And I just, I started taking it uh, yesterday, and I really took a lot of it today. I feel fine now. The activated charcoal is probably the best thing in the world to take for food poisoning. But also, even if you have like a stomach virus or anything like that, because what's going on with the activated charcoal is it absorbs the bad toxins, the bad microbes. But when you're talking, it's activated. It's positively charged. So what that does is it actually attracts the bad microbes. It does not attract the good uh, gut bioflora, which is your part of your main part of your immune system, because the, it's, um, they're oppositely charged. The good the bacteria is negatively charged, just like your body cells. So it does not attract the good bacteria. It only attracts the bad microbes which is positively charged. Um, this stuff also, you know, it's, it, this a lot of this stuff with chemicals, or let's say not just chemicals, but herbal remedies, which is a chemical in a way. If you break everything down, everything's chemistry. Or activated charcoal. Um, there is an interrelationship between chemistry and electricity. In other words, when you're using something that is an electron donor, what if it's an herb? It's electron donor. There's electricity going on there. Same with positively charged activated charcoal. That's really what it is. It's not just activated. It means positively charged. That helps to trap the toxins and remove them from the body and keeps them from going into the bloodstream further. Um, charcoal absorbs up to 60% of the toxic substance. I think it actually absor- absorbs a hell of a lot more than that because you could take quite a bit of this stuff. Um, you know, if you have a problem where you got poison, but it's not just for poison, it could be, you know, a stomach virus. And often, well, they say 90% of your immune system is actually in your gut. And a large part of it is also, I don't know if it's 90%, I've heard that figure, but most of it is in your gut. But the other part is, um, where you can get, uh, diseases from is oral, oral, like cavities and things like that, bad teeth or whatever, that affects the body. As a matter of fact, it affects the um, the electric um, connectors in the body where, like, you have the acupuncture connectors. A lot of of things in the body is electric, too. There's a big overlap between electricity, chemistry, and frequency. So it's not, you know, a lot of times the things work in medicine, like when you're giving pharmaceuticals, they work for a certain reason. But the problem with pharmaceuticals is they're, every single one of them is toxic in a way, uh, in some form, that they address one area with a hammer very hard, but, and sometimes you need them, but a lot of times they're overall bad, they're, overall they're bad for your human physiology. So if you can address a situation very quickly without pharmaceuticals, that's the way to go. Activated charcoal, I, I, you know, I know they use this in poison control centers a lot. Especially in Europe, you know, you don't hear too much. You don't hear anybody keeping lots of activated charcoal on hand 
at home for you know emergencies like this i forgot to use it now i was using the power zapper um and one of the reasons that was effective too because you see as the poison or whatever it is the poison or the microbes not necessarily poison but say it's a um bacteria that was in there that caused me to get sick um it was pretty bad because i remember i woke up at five o'clock in the afternoon on saturday at <laughs> five o'clock and i was worn out and I, I was actually getting some stuff done from five o'clock till after midnight then i was at work the next day and i felt so freaking crappy i had to sleep you know, for half an hour on Sunday at work because I was just so exhausted. I, I did not think about taking the activated charcoal. I was taking some of the vitamin C, the liposomal vitamin C, which I think helps too. But the activated charcoal would have really done done it in, you know, done in the toxicity in the bad microbes from the food poisoning fast as anything. Of course, now I got it and I feel fine now. I'm like, whoa, that's great. But I think the Parazapper was something... You know, this is the product here I got, you know, I did, the, this is actually a picture of my video. I was talking about the power zappers and I'm saying, you know, it's my strong opinion that, you know, the truth is I have a very strong belief that tech works extremely well. Now, if you're using this power zapper and it's, um, the contacts are on the body where the bloodstream is, if you have any of these bad microbes going from the food poisoning from the stomach to the which is the connection between the stomach and the bloodstream, you're eliminating the problem in the bloodstream where it's, you know, with the parazapper, where it's going to affect other parts of the body and cause fever and all this and headaches and stuff. I didn't really, I just felt sick in my stomach. And it was like, even after the throwing up started, I had like gas or something. I could tell, grr, grr, grr. you know, I was like, God, man. It was like you just couldn't digest anything. So I was taking iodine. Um, but I did not think of, I was taking the iodine and the vitamin C a lot, and I did feel a little, quite a bit better, but when I took the activated charcoal, I felt immediately much better. Now, it's been my experience when I took activated charcoal before that it just might, you know, it's not just me. I heard this, other people say this still. Like, I didn't really notice any really big effect immediately with, like, you know, with um, carbon C60 and olive oil. But I did take some of that, too, and I didn't feel, you know, it was kind of difficult to say if that worked that much. It, it seems like if you have a serious, like, problem where you got some food poisoning or you got, like, a stomach flu, the activated charcoal really works great. Um, I think the Parazapper could possibly work for the problem in the stomach, too, if you had the contacts on each side of the torso and you're running it a lot. I know this thing, this power zapper doesn't really work that well if you're just running it five, ten minutes. I mean, it's, you know, you're not, you're not going to notice nothing. I found out, though, if you're running it like ten hours, eight, ten hours a day, I'm trying to get like 15 hours a day in with it. It seems to really do a super job. It gives your body, um, I don't know, extra, I don't know what it does, man, exactly. I think, I tell you the truth, it's my opinion that the power zapper is donating electrons to the bloodstream. And that is why, you know, Holder Clark made those statements about, you know, it supercharges the immune system at the same time knocking out all microbes. Well, if it's supercharging the immune system, you know it's got to be raising the, the voltage of the body's cells, not just the immune system cells, but all of them. You know, it's going along with, like, doc, with Dr. Jerry Tennant saying, too. I mean, it's all this is related. But uh, the other thing with Parazapper is, you know, he's proved that it works in a thing of water. You're not allowed to say it works on a body, but then what the heck is the body? It's mostly water, right? The, the real limitation it is on it is that, you know, the frequency might go, like say for, for instance, um, you know, this jar is a, you know, the body, the width of the body. And on the inside of the body is the bug. And you zap it from one side to the other side, right? Well, the electricity might go around where the problem is. And that's where, you know, the electricity is doing the, the, the electron donor. to just, Or it's actually um, the positive offset is working against the microbes and charging up the body at the same time. Well, if the electricity bypasses the area where the problem is, 
And usually the problem is um, in an area of low uh, blood flow and low liquidity, like in other words, low water, right? So the electricity is going to follow the areas of high blood flow. <coughs> in other words, it's going to bypass some, some many times <coughs> the areas where, you know, the problem really is because, you know, it stays a problem because there's very little blood flow in that area. So the, the electricity could bypass it. That's one of your limitations on, you know, using the, the power zapper contact method. Now, if you have a plasma machine, and you know the frequency, and that's the other thing, do you know the frequency or not, you know, it would knock it out, but then you got to know the frequency. With the power zapper, you know, if even if you screw up and you get the wrong frequency for whatever the ailment is, the positive offset alone will work after a while. But I find that, you know, it's amazing you got simple technology like this that anybody can use, and you know what it gets me, too, you know, I don't want to say anything, like, great about hoorah, hoorah, you know, with the Marine Corps and all this garbage, you know, because sometimes they really get disgusted with a lot of things that go on, you know, with the uh, politicians and, uh, you know, the politically correct and even higher up in the ranks. But if every single person in the military had access to this activated charcoal and they kept a power zapper on them, there'd be a lot less disease and sickness out in the field. Um, there'd be a lot more mental alertness because you wouldn't be, your mind wouldn't be clouded up with all this garbage. Um, you know, if you have a, a cut or wound and you were able to apply that power zapper positive offset to the area where the infection was, it's going to work like crazy. It's going to stop the infection from occurring and, or reverse it. If it does, I'm sorry it works, man. You know, I don't sell these things. And under the F, You know what I say with the FDA? Do whatever you want, because I've been, I personally have been testing this thing for like a gazillion years now. I mean, Mel, not, I don't know, freaking seven years extensively on myself, different things. If you have a cold or something, if you have a sore throat, I found if you put the positive offset on the throat side where the throat is and you put on 30,000 hertz, whatever, you run it overnight goodbye sword throat it's gone you know you'd think they would use this in the military everybody would have like a rechargeable battery pack with you know with a power zapper and a bunch of activated charcoal but i could tell you one time when i was in korea um they screwed up on the water treatment and you know the people that were drinking beer and booze. <laughs> they, were the, they were the ones that didn't get sick, the ones that drank the water. <laughs> you know, like you're, they tell you, make sure you drink enough water so you don't get dehydrated. Well, the water was contaminated because somebody didn't do the, uh, you know, the, uh, I guess it's, a, what do you call that, uh, calcium hypochlorate? It's pool shock. That's what you use for, uh, you know, water, de- you know, knocking out the microbes in the water out in the field. They didn't have it right, you know. I got sick as all hell from that crap from actually drinking the water was out there somebody screwed up on. That's what's scary about anything in an organization that's big. You always got to rely on one idiot that could screw things up, you know. But, um, you know, you're thinking even about water, you know, the power zapper is not designed to make water, you know, you know, free of all microbes. It's not really for that reason. But then again, if you had this in the field, and you had water that was suspect, and you didn't have time to boil it, and you didn't have time to, uh, I don't know, you maybe ran out of, you know, iodine pills and stuff. That was another reason I was taking the iodine, because it's for the food poisoning, because I knew that's that's pretty effective against, uh, uh, it seemed to help. It's pretty effective against, uh, you know, microbes, the iodine itself. But if you have the power zapper, you know, I mean, it might not totally purify the water, but it's going to do a good job getting most of it out of there. You know, you think that, you would think they'd have this, you know, but I already know how the things are in the military. Ugh. Kind of fed up with that garbage. You just have bad bad, uh, bad thoughts about it sometimes. You even thinking about it. Um, now, to be quite honest, I'm going off on a tangent. It's actually 
not the Marine Corps that makes the Marines. It's the Marines that make the Marine Corps. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, man. It's the individual that freaking makes one each that makes the freaking organization. But, you know, the problem is when you bring out information like this with the activated charcoal. Now, this activated charcoal about it being a detoxifier, this has been known charcoal itself, even not be an activator positively charged, charcoal itself has been known to be a detoxifier in medicine, tribal medicines, American Native Plains, Indians, I mean, you name it, all across the world for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. It's been known. That's why, you know, you would see sometimes the, uh, the American Native Indian medicine man put like charcoal all over the skin of somebody to help heal them. Well, what they're doing is they're absorbing toxins through the largest organ, which is the skin, to pull them out. You know, actually the skin can help pull out toxins with, uh, you know, just using charcoal on the skin. That's why they would do that type of stuff. It's been known for years. I mean, millennials, you know, millennials, like in other words, thousands of years, you know. I'm talking about millennials of people. Um, but... Uh, you know, I did get this, and I was, like, surprised. And I says, man, it's the last time I ever freaking get a sandwich out of that place. I mean, you know, I've been doing it for years. And, you know, maybe I should have looked at the label. Maybe that that thing was sitting out there for a couple of days, and I didn't realize it. it didn't taste bad, but there was, a, there was an immediate effect almost. It was, like, I don't know, several hours after I went to sleep, I was, like, you know, I had to run to the bathroom. And by the morning, man, I threw up a whole bunch of times. And it was, like, I was not... You know, I wasn't, I wasn't sick in the least before I, it, before this, before that sandwich. Not even the least. I didn't feel nothing. And you know, it wasn't gone by. It just happened. You know, I had the sandwich maybe like two o'clock in the morning, Friday, <laughs> Friday, you well, know, Saturday actually. It was like Friday midnight to Saturday, right? And then I slept Saturday. I slept like till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And I was worn out. I was still getting more stuff done. I remember I put the bike away and did, I was checking. I don't know what I was doing. A lot of different things. Um, and then, um, you know, that, that I was at work Sunday. Uh, and I remember I had to sleep a half an hour because I was so tired. And when I got home, I was like, God, I went right to sleep. And I slept probably 12 hours. Then yesterday, I was still kind of out of it. You know, um, but I started taking so many activated charcoal. But now today I took a whole pile of it. But I've noticed it's the same deal like when I took a whole pile of it before. Like even when I didn't have a problem, I noticed an energy boost. And I swear, you know, I think that's because even if you're not subjected to food poisoning, almost everything we have, unless you've got an organically grown garden, and you're getting all your food from there. But almost anything we put in our body has food preservatives in it, food dyes, I don't know, all these different chemicals, you know, fillers, that they say is fine, you know, generally recognized as safe, you know. And, you know how that works. You pay somebody a lot of money in the FDA, it's generally recognized as safe. But if you add up all the cumulative effect of all these different things, um, you know, I think I think that's one of the reasons why Americans are overweight um, is because fat is a mechanism by which the body the body employs to trap toxins, so it doesn't affect the um, doesn't hurt the, the vital organs. You will actually gain. You'll actually fat cells will grow as a reaction to toxic substances in a body. A lot of people don't realize that. You know, that's why even sometimes they'll, some of these doctors will say, you know, they don't know why, but some of these pharmaceutical medicines will cause weight gains in different areas. But, you know, the solution is to diet and exercise more. But why is it causing weight gain? You know, just from taking, you know, it's got no calories in it. It's because some of these pharmaceutical medicines have, um, they're toxic. Actually, every single pharmaceutical out there has fluoride in it, believe it or not, which you know is extremely poisonous. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm kind of throwing a lot in this video because I have a broad knowledge of a lot of this on this subject. I probably know, even though I'm an amateur on these type of things with um, 
you know, natural health. I, you know, I don't want to even use that phrase. It's because you know what I really, I, you know, what I really get my information from is the doctors themselves. But they're more like the renegade doctors. They're not the one. They're not the ones that says, "Boy, I could have been making so much money as a cancer doctor, but I decided to push these herbs instead." And you know, if they're if they you know they're falling on their financial sword. And taking a major hit to tell the truth, you know, you're probably straight up. But then again, you got disinformation agents out there too. I've I've caught that stuff going on, and um, and I try to bring you a good balance of stuff. But I I have found that this activated charcoal is is some really amazing stuff. Um, and you look at you know the, the like the bottle will say one recommended doses, but if you look at what people do, um. You know that have it's not like it's poison. Activated charcoal is not; it's anti-poison. It's totally inert. Um, and it's cheap too, um, but you know it could benefit you even when you don't have food poisoning. You might you will notice an energy increase. I've noticed that before too. I haven't taken it in a while because I've been taking uh, the carbon C60 in olive oil, and I've been doing the para zapper every day. Probably sometimes more like closer to 15 hours a day now. I'm we're actually wearing it right now. I've been using a 10,000 hertz mode mostly. Um, and quite honestly, I think when you're using this power zapper and it's that many hours a day, like 12, 15 hours a day, that's like getting a help. To me, you know, this is going to be pretty wild. You know, I'm sorry, but I've noticed that it seems to have more effect than even true liposomal vitamin C. In other words, this parazapper is actually donating electrons to the bloodstream. It, 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 I think it's akin to um, actually um, getting intravenous vitamin C. Now, you know what intravenous vitamin C, the effect doesn't last that long. And I, like I said, this parazapper doesn't really, you know, it might work a little bit if you're going to do it for 15, 30 minutes or something like that or whatever, but... You know, it really shines when you're using it many, many hours a day. So I got rechargeable batteries of the best quality. I'm constantly changing them out. And, um, you know, it's a good thing I was using that because the power is after because the toxins or microbes would have actually um, gotten into the bloodstream in a positive offset, which is a it's like an electron donor, really. That's what the hell is going on here. Was combating any kind of problem that would be going pouring into the bloodstream from the stomach. I was not addressing the stomach itself as much as I should have. You know, I was taking some vitamin C. I was taking some iodine. I forgot about the activated charcoal because that would have knocked it out almost immediately. <laughs> so, but you know, I should. I really should say though. I mean, you know. The criminals that uh, own our military, not the military, not the not the members in the military, but the criminal politicians that own our military, they have done, um, you know, the, the members in our military a super bad disservice by not, you know, having these things available. Actually, part of your should be part of your seven your deuce gear, you know, your it's the stuff you normally carry, like part of your first aid kit. There should be a power zapper in there, and there should be an activated charcoal thing in there, too. I mean, yeah, I could think of a lot of other things like iodine and uh, vitamin C and things like that, but, um, you know, when you got something that you drink some bad water or something or whatever, bad food or whatever, food that's spoiled, you know, the fastest thing that's going to remedy that is the, is the activated charcoal. And the para zapper is something that, you know, if you have an infection from a cut, you put that positive offset on that, you wrap it up, you run that thing overnight when you're sleeping, goodbye infection. I'll tell you what, it, it's really that damn good. And you know what? Don't, don't put the burden of proof on me because I already know it works. You know, I, I, I'm already calling out the criminals that use uh, the members in the military as pawns. I really can't. Uh, I, I get burnt. I get bent out of shape just thinking about it. You know, I don't want to mention the politicians. It's like they aggravate the hell out of me.
But, you know, one subject I've been very hot on is, uh, you know, health. And, you know, quite honestly, uh, probably the worst thing they do to the military is probably the, when they diagnose people with, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder. And, you know, they start giving them these funky drugs. Well, that's a whole other subject. I could tell you that um, in World War II, and this is per doctors, that um, what saved a lot of people from the, um, that you know, people that got out of the Japanese um, POW camps, they had a very, very poor survival rate after getting out of those camps. They had problems with everything. I mean, joints not being able to work that well, had problems getting up early in the morning. Uh, they had a lot of brain fog. You know what really worked well with them? Nic- um, niacin, nicotinic acid, the true vitamin B3. But what happened was they actually had to take this vitamin B3, a lot, heavy doses of it, for the rest of their lives. And when they, as long as they took a lot, lot, heavy doses of that stuff, a lot of the problems from the POW camps disappeared. Um, you know, the medical problems, the medical problems. And actually, psych problems are very much related to uh, a lack of the coenzyme NAD and also longevity problems. In other words, if you don't live that long, um, NAD can actually extend your life. It's uh, it's uh, one of the building blocks for that coenzyme NAD is uh, nicotinic acid, vitamin B3. But, you know, there's no money in it. I'll tell you what, there's a high suicide. I'll already know. This is a, I'm going off on a tangent here, but I don't want to make a separate video about it. The reason there's a real high suicide rate in uh, the military is uh, probably what's being done to them medically. You know, farm. You know, you know. If you ever tell a, a, a professional mental health person, "Well, I couldn't sleep that well for a couple nights in the last three months," well, that's pretty normal, right? Sometimes you're just keyed up. They'll give you a drug, and then once they give you that drug, you'll have another problem from that drug, and it'll be another drug. And once you're on that thing, you're going to be struggling with this, that, and the other thing, which you're actually struggling with is a drug problem. And the way to eliminate drugs out of your body is activated charcoal and also that niacin. That niacin's been known as, uh, I don't know if they use it in the conventional medicine, but they've been known to use it in, uh, for detox for people who have drug problems. But there's a lot of reasons you want to have it. The niacin, it's actually a detoxifier. That's the actual vitamin B3, the true vitamin B3, the one that gives you the flush, the nicotinic acid. I kind of went off on a tangent on a couple other things because there's never, you know, it's never like, I can't just put out a video and say this, this, and that, and that's all there is. That's not how it is. But specifically for food poisoning, activated charcoal is number one. Money-wise, convenience-wise, how effective it is, it's very, very effective. It's very, very cheap. They do use it in poison control centers a lot. And it's not just something that's brand new. Um, plain charcoal, not activated. It's been used for this, for these type of reasons for, I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of years. In all these different cultures that people figured this out, whether it was on a continent of Asia, Africa, or the Americans, or Europe, it doesn't matter. People have been doing this, you know, before there was, you know, civilization like as we know it today in a big pharmaceutical industry they were using just plain charcoal to detoxify uh, from you know various things not just you know ailments of uh, food poisoning or toxic toxicity but stomach flus and things like that but you know you think they'd have this you think they would have this right in the deuce gear right in the first aid kit nah, no hell no hell no no nah. <laughs> you don't you don't even want to know what I'd like to say on here. <laughs> I can't. Boy, I'm so pissed. I am so pissed off at some people that are running, you know, rough shot over the military. You would not believe how pissed off I am. And I have not been in the military for uh, well over 20 years, okay? And I'm still pissed off. God. <laughs> anyway, and you know, I would I would have the power zapper in here. This would be part of your USMC uh, deuce gear. 
power zapper and activated charcoal. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things you want to have too, but what else, you know? I like the power zapper because you really, as long as you can charge up the batteries with some solar panels or something, you know, you're good to go forever, right? <laughs> anyway, um, that's what they ought to be doing, but that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. We need a flat-out revolution before this would happen. I mean, really. Because most of the military is run by not necessarily... Well, sometimes they're in the military, too. They're connected to the corporate. But, uh, you know, it's really the big military-industrial corporation that is, um, you know, all about the money. And the hell with the individual. I mean, they, they make it sound like the individual's important, but that's that's... Total quality lip service, man. So, you know, I always said, you know, and actually, I tell you the truth, you know, a lot where I even got the idea of going down south, because I'm originally from up New Jersey near New York, it's not necessarily from the Marine Corps itself, but it was from Southerners in the Marine Corps. And um, since I went to um, Paris Island, <laughs> I always considered myself Paris Island, South Carolina, South Carolina. I'm a born-again South Carolinian by going to Paris, because they always say you're born again. So, and don't say thank you for your service, because I, I really don't know, you know, today it's like, I don't even know what, what the heck the mission of the military is today. You know, we're we're just part of the corporate uh, game, you know? I mean, yeah, you got to follow orders, but it really, you know, Back in World War II, we were fighting fascism. I understood that. That made a lot of sense. Um, today, I don't know. I mean, I don't trust our leaders, man. I think they're freaking the worst enemy of the Marine Corps. And you know what I always say, too? Loyalty goes both ways. <laughs> I'm not going to be loyal to people who aren't loyal to me. That's the way it works, man. Playing out flat, you know, somebody get bent out of shape. I know some of the people that are careerists in the Marine Corps say, you kids, well, I ain't in the Marine Corps anymore, you know. <laughs> or to me, it's like, uh, you know, I stick up for individuals. I don't necessarily stick up for uh, a corporate entity. And I don't consider the Marine Corps a corporate entity, and I hope it never becomes one, you know. But uh, corporate entities have been using the Marine Corps big time. And let me just say that... Uh, you know, again, some of the simplest, cheapest things out there could not just benefit us, we the people, but also the individual members that make up our military. But that would be to the detriment of the corporations that profit off the military. Right? Kind of throwing a little uh, more in this video, but, you know, that's really the problem. Freaking all about damn money. And, um, yeah, everybody wants money, but uh, I hate freaking crooked charlatans at the top that use people as pawns. You know, I can't stand those type of people. So, anyway, over and out, two great tips. Um, you know, if you're out in the field and, you know, you're going on some survival hump mission or something, take the activated charcoal, take the power zapper. Because the activated charcoal can help purify water and the power Sapper can help purify water too. I mean, I'm not saying the Paris Sapper is going to do 100% perfect job of it, but it'll be a whole lot better than whatever the hell you, you what it was before they zapped it. So, anyway, over and out.